Hello, today is November 10th, 2018. And I am um, doing my, my Bible study here this morning, but my spirit, something happened with my spirit this morning uh, where I was talking to God and um, I just need to let go of all pride. Um, I've had this spirit of truth that I've been seeking and learning from. And that spirit of truth, um, this morning I, I felt like, almost like God was saying, um, and don't take this in the wrong way, it's not pride but it's a secret uh, relationship with God but I felt like God was saying like a spiritual kiss to kiss God with that truth to give the truth back the spirit of truth I don't fully understand it but um, what my spirit was saying was I want to be with you God or Jesus, I want to be with you when you take your bride, which is the church. So the, the spirit of truth um, desired to go and be with God or Jesus when he took his church. Anyway, it's that's a spiritual thing, and um, you know that was earlier this morning, and I've been working to just kind of humble myself because that it's almost as if that spirit um, is now in the heavenly places, spirit of truth. Um, but I can still hear from it, and it's been pointing me to. Um, some scriptures in Malachi and it, it talks about like almost like um, I think of it as if there's a great change in the land something really what well, appears to be good happens and and I remember from a dream that I had this dream of a, of a rapture where um, I was caught up and uh, received a, a new heart, and then was sent back. But I didn't share this part because when I was sent back, everything was different. And there was, um, there were all these people talking about not Jesus Christ, but Julius Caesar. And it troubled me in my spirit that they were all talking about Julius Caesar and not Jesus Christ. So the scripture that I wanted to share was in it's in uh, Malachi 3 15. And it says, And now we call the proud happy, yea, they that work wickedness are set up, yea, they that tempt God are even delivered. So it's almost as if everybody's given um, some sort of gift from God and it, it appears good. But then it says here in Malachi uh, six, th chapter 3, 16, Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord. And that thought upon his name. So in my dream they were thinking upon Julius Caesar. But here it says in Malachi. Those that thought on the name of Jesus Christ. Would be written in this book. Uh, remembrance. Book of remem remembrance. Was written before the Lord. Who heard these things that they were. Those that feared the Lord. And then it says. And they shall be mine saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels and I will spare them 
as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. So when we, uh, he says, then shall ye return. So we are spared as a son. And that's like a son of God, an angel or uh, like likened unto um, like a brother or sister of Christ. He will spare. Then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. And I know it goes right into the next chapter, but it talks about the wicked again. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And here's where I, I'm trying to let go of all pride. It says, And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So, um, you know, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father but by him. I know this, and, you know, I want to be like, I want to be like my master, but never greater than my master. And I just pray that I could have that humbleness um, as Jesus um, was humble, you know, sometimes doing, you know, doing the work of God, the will of God, and just quietly saying, tell no man of this, but, you know, give glory to God. Um, but I'm sharing this because if there is, you know, a time where there's people rising up with pride, um, <clears throat> let's see, it says, and now we call the proud happy. Yea, they that work wickedness are set up. Yea, they that tempt God are even delivered. Um, we need to learn to fear God and know that he is God and know that he is the one that brings the, uh, the righteous judgment to judge between those who serve him and do not serve him. And he will spare those that... Um, that do serve him as he would he says uh and i will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him okay i just wanted to share that and um there's many more things on my mind right now but um i just pray that god will bless you in jesus name seek to be humble but to be of the truth and to know the truth and um not to be deceived into um, just falling after the world and being happy, joyful, maybe talking about Julius Caesar, which Jesus even says, he says, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, but render unto God what is God. So uh, give give the glory to where it is, is uh, meant to be with God through his son, Jesus Christ, and um, and fear God. Because a day comes when he will come and separate the the sheep from the goats, and there will be some who uh, will be in his in his care and in his flock, and others that will be ashamed, and they will be asked to um, to depart from him because he knows them not. All right, God bless you in Jesus' name.